everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Nifty Dreams Founder Town Hall. I'm so excited to be here with everyone today. I see a lot of people in the audience uh, chatting and saying hi. So hi to all of you. Hi to everyone who's uh, watching live and uh, everyone who will watch this uh, recording. So I do this uh, every Monday uh, morning for me, but uh, different times for different people around the world, obviously. And what I try to do is give you uh, an update on what is happening uh, with the DAO and uh, to make sure that you have uh, insights into the strategic uh, kind of developments in the DAO. And then we do uh, another town hall on uh, Wednesdays. That's more of a community town hall where we talk to the community, get feedback and, you know, bring some guests and, and engage with them, etc. cetera. So uh, uh, let's get started. So my primary focus today is to talk to you about uh, the drop that uh, uh, we just did a few days ago to report on the progress and to, re and to report on um, how we are going to uh, accelerate the uh, Dreamers onboarding for the drop. All right, so uh, without further ado, uh, let's get started. What I'm gonna do here is uh, share my screen and uh, show you what is going on there. So here we go. So this uh, slide here uh, tells you a little bit about what has uh, happened and what is happening, uh, and then what is going to happen. So the basic goal here is for us to do a two-step uh, process of drops in order to raise capital for the DAO. For any DAO to function, it needs money. Uh, and for the plans we have, we need money. So, but more importantly, we need artists. We need artists to support this DAO and to give us feedback and to participate in the process. So our first drop happened on August uh, 25th. That's the Dreamer NFT Mint Pass sale, where we uh, are trying to get 10,000 artists onboarded uh, and uh, at 25 bucks uh, a piece, that uh, res results in $250,000. Uh, the money in that phase is really not important. It's the artists that are important. We need to make sure that we have a community of artists supporting uh, the DAO because otherwise you can probably see where I'm going. The problem is that if we don't have 10,000 artists supporting it, then when we go to the benefactors on the second phase to raise $5.5 million, we've got a problem. So this is why it's super important for us to get the community support and get all the artists uh, on board. So uh, our uh, Dreamer NFT Mint Pass uh, sale, we had a pre-mint sign up and we had almost 6,000 artists signed up for that. Now that required you to go to the website, it required you to connect your wallet, it required you to connect your Discord. So our six, almost 6,000 people uh, did all of that. And so now we come to drop day on um, August 25th and moving forward and the result we have is 550 buyers so far. So the, the sale, everything worked without a hitch. There was no technical problems, et cetera. But uh, a number of the artists who signed up just didn't show up. So we have 550 token holders right now, which uh, is not uh, that great. We are far from our goal, but it's also great in the sense that we have 550 artists who are supporting the DAO and I believe a lot of you are already here in the audience watching. And I'm super excited and super grateful for your support. So that's the number we have to deal with, folks. We have 550 artists uh, and we have a goal of 10,000. So what I want to talk to you today is about why some of those artists might not have uh, signed up. Uh, my guess is that a lot of them don't understand that there's a step two. Uh, after the pre-mint sale, uh, if you don't mint at the time window, which was August 25th, uh, then uh, you still have to mint because until you actually have this NFT in your possession, you haven't uh, actually signed up to be a dreamer. So what I'm going to do today is kind of talk you through the basics of the DAO in as simple language as possible so people can understand it and also hopefully uh, start moving the numbers forward. We absolutely need to do this. We need to get to 10,000 within the next few weeks. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard 
for us to convince the benefactors to fund this DAO. And so our business plan then becomes at risk. Uh, I don't want that to happen. You don't want that to happen. Uh, so we have to work together to make this number go up as quickly as possible. So uh, let's see, I, I'm gonna take a quick uh, stab at the comments here. Uh, confusion because of name of website pre-mint. All right, uh, not sure wh why that would cause any confusion because it's a service uh, that is used in almost every drop. Um, and uh, looks like some people are saying, uh, here, here we go, David is saying he got his, his today. So great, David, thank you. I appreciate your support. We all appreciate your support. Uh, all right, so let's continue now and look at uh, some of the basics. And uh, then I'll make this announcement, which I'm sure you'll be very, very excited to hear about. All right, so what we have right now is 550 out of 10,000 artists currently supporting the DAO on its mission to make it possible for every artist in the world to have a living income. Now think about this, folks. The mission of this DAO is to make it possible for you, the artists, to have a living income so you don't have to have a second job. So you can just say, when someone asks, what's my profession? You say, I'm an artist. That's it. That is the whole mission of this. We are going to do everything possible to make that happen for every artist in the world. It doesn't matter if you're in the developed world, you're in the developing world, if you're in a rural village, this is our goal. So we have 550 of you who are supporting the goal to make uh, it possible for every artist in the world to have a living income. I think that's great, but we need to move the needle and get the remaining 9,450 to hop on board. 550 out of 10,000 artists agree that $2 a month is a worthwhile amount to secure their financial future. If someone came along and told you, pay $2 a month, and there's an organization that is going to work hard to ensure that your entire lifetime income would be secured so that you could have a job and an income doing art, just doing art. Would you take that deal? Well, 550 of you have taken that deal. Now we need 9,450 to also figure out that that's a very good deal. That's two bucks a month, folks. Two bucks a month. About maybe even less, way less than the cost of a latte. And that's, that's it. So next, 550 out of 10,000 artists want to spend their time creating art instead of shilling their work on Twitter. The DAO is going to make it possible so you can focus on your art. You don't have to do marketing and you don't have to do sales. You don't have to do all the stuff that just sucks up your time that you hate doing. You can focus on your art. 550 of you agree that that's a good thing. I need 9,450 more people to be convinced that they shouldn't be shilling their work on Twitter. They should be creating art instead and let the DAO handle monetizing your, your artworks. 550 out of 10,000 artists are interested in finding new and innovative ways to make money using NFTs. These 550 know that marketplace are a dead end. They are saturated. They are flat. They, there are thousands of artists and very few collectors. Marketplaces are not the future, folks. 550 artists of you, of you understand that. You know there has to be a new way to make money using NFTs. Otherwise, survival is not assured. We are working on finding that way. Not one way, but many ways. And in our plan, we talk about that. We talk about how we want to do partnerships with retail consumer companies that have billions of dollars to create a recurring license model of income for you. So 550 of you understand this, that innovation is the key. I need 9,450 more to understand that. 550 out of 10,000 artists want a world where their fellow artists from countries like Iran and Cuba aren't blocked at random. The DAO is going to work on that. 
we are going to work on decentralized solutions to make it possible where you aren't blocked arbitrarily. I want every artist in Iran and every artist in Cuba in that number there. I cannot believe that there's just 550 artists in Iran. I know there's way more than that. Why aren't you on here signing up for a DAO whose purpose is to make it possible to create decentralized solutions so you are not subject to being blocked all the time? 550 artists know that we can work this solution. I need 9,450 to figure that out and sign up. Here's a few things that I want to clarify because it is a point of confusion. Nifty Dreams is not a marketplace. We are not OpenSea, we are not foundation, we are none of those things. We are not a place where you will come, list your work, mint your work and sell it. We are not doing that 100% no not a marketplace. I want to make sure that's clear to everybody. I'll repeat it again. Nifty Dreams is not a marketplace. We are not a PFP project. We are not going away. We are not like, here's a pretty picture. We have a plan. We have people. We have lives at stake. We have businesses that are partnered with us. This is a large scale project. This is huge. This is world changing. We are not a business. We are not in it for making money. This is not a business that is profit centric. We don't need to make any money from you or anybody else. What we want to do is figure out ways for businesses to have to fund artists, to license the artworks and fund artists. That's what we are doing. We are not a business for creating profit. What we are is a collective of artists. Now let's make sure everyone understands that word because it might not translate very well in different languages. A group, a collective is a group of artists. We are basically many artists that have gathered together to say, hey, let's work together and solve problems. I always say, if you want to go fast, go solo. If you want to go far, go together, together. This is what Nifty Dreams is about. It's a collective of artists working together to solve large scale problems. The problems that we have in the NFT art ecosystem right now cannot be solved individually. You cannot individually solve it. It requires teamwork. It requires strategy. It requires professionals. It requires capital. It requires focus. It requires dedication. It requires a lot of smart, innovative thinking. It requires technology solutions. It requires all of these things. We have to work together. This is how we will do it. So Nifty Dreams is a collective of artists, for artists, by artists. We are working for your future. Nifty Dreams will support many different projects to find new ways for artists to make money. We are not saying that here's one way, and this is the only way for you to make money. That's what marketplaces do. We are not a marketplace. What we are is like an incubator. This has worked really well in Silicon Valley. It has made billions of dollars for people. We are doing the same thing with art. We are gonna experiment with many different projects to find the very best way for artists to make the most money through licensing revenue and other revenues like that. So this, is what we are going to do. This is how we are going to solve the problem. So if you are waiting for us to come up with an idea tomorrow and a project that says, here's money for you, sorry, you will be disappointed. This is a long game. This is, in fact, my business plan that we have created for it is a hundred year business plan. We are creating a plan for the secure future of not just you, but your generations. We want to create generational wealth. That happens through very strategic thinking and by identifying and trying out different things until you find one or two that work. And then you double down on those, you grow those, you capitalize those, you focus on those and you find success. But you cannot pick one and move forward and hope that it will succeed because if it fails, you're done. We are gonna work like an incubator on many different projects and identify the best ways in which artists can make money. 
we will allow artists to consign their art so the DAO figures out how to monetize it. What does the word consign mean? In the fine arts physical world today, when an artist creates an artwork and they want to sell it, they go to a gallery and they consign their art to the gallery. They say, here gallery, you are responsible for marketing this. I'm going back to my studio to make more art. The gallery organizes marketing events. The gallery advertises. The gallery has cocktail parties, all of that, and figures out a way to sell that art. The gallery charges a very hefty fee, usually 50%. The DAO, Nifty Dreams, is going to do everything the gallery does and more, except it's not going to charge you anything more than probably the cost of whatever it's going to take to make that happen, maybe 1% or 2%. The gallery will allow you to give your art to them, consign it, and walk away. Nifty Dreams is a similar model. This is why perhaps you might be confused in thinking that we are a marketplace. We are not. What we will do is allow artists to consign their work to the DAO and then go back to their studio and do their work. The DAO is going to figure out how to make money for you. We will have professional marketers professional social media experts, professional art experts, art dealers, all of those. We are going to make partnerships with companies, etc., to move art in bulk so that we can make money off it. This is the plan. This is how we will free you from the daily drama that you un undergo, marketing, shilling, doing social media posts, etc. There is a better way, folks. The way you're doing it is not the best way. In fact, it is the worst way. There is a better way, and we are going to make that happen. That's what Nifty Dreams is going to do for you. So getting back to the number, 550. We got to move this needle. We got to move it fast. We got to get to 10,000 as quickly as possible. That's going to happen if you, the 550, talk to a couple of your artist friends and have them sign up. They might talk to a couple of their friends and have them sign up. That's one way. The second way is for us, the DAO, to educate people, to help them understand in basic, simple language what the DAO is about. We have a very detailed business plan. But as it turns out, artists don't read detailed business plans. So we are going to make simple content that helps you understand what the DAO is about and why it is in your benefit to support this DAO. It's your DAO, folks. It's not my DAO. It's not you know someone else's DAO. It's our DAO. We are working on this together. So these are tangible action items we are going to take. But I want to make it super, super simple for people who are sitting on the fence right now. Remember, there are almost 5,000 artists who took the time, and it is a lot of time, to go to the premium site to connect their wallet, to connect their Discord. Those artists are missing. I want to get those artists off the fence and into the DAO. And for that, I am going to announce today a very special uh, promotion. So here's what we are doing. The DAO is very shortly going to have its own token. That's going to be the Nifty D token. This token is essentially the currency of the DAO. Everything we do is with this token. And we will set up liquidity on Uniswap in order to ensure that the people who are earning these tokens, perhaps by working for DAO tasks or through sale of their art, et cetera, can have liquidity right away. You can change it into USDC, into ETH, or, or things like that. So we will be providing that uh, liquidity. And our commitment is that with this, with this drop, uh, we will provide half a million dollars worth of, of liquidity. So now this token is going to be made available in basically two ways. You either earn it by working for the DAO. There are many different tasks available. And by the way, those tasks, those paid jobs are available only if you have a Dreamer uh, NFT. If you don't have a Dreamer NFT, you cannot take a paid job. You can volunteer, but you cannot have a paid job. So that's a good benefit of the Dreamer NFT. Um, so the tokens you earn that way will be liquid. You can go change them right away. We are also going to grant tokens. Uh, we're going to airdrop them. 
each Dreamer NFT is currently authorized for 870 tokens each. What I would like to announce today is a program where we, first of all, recognize and celebrate the people who stepped up and bought the Dreamer NFT right away to support the DAO. I want to make sure that they are handsomely, handsomely rewarded for supporting the DAO. The next is we want to encourage people who are on the fence right now to get off the fence and get that Dreamer NFT, not tomorrow, not day after, but today. So for the next 24 hours, we have a promotion that is going to make it very, very exciting for you. All right, so let's look at what we have here. This here is the token airdrop program. Let me walk you through it. All the people who purchased during the first day, the pre-mint, that's approximately 550 of you. What we are do, going to do is give you a standard 870 tokens, but also recognize your support by giving you an additional 5,000 130 tokens. That's 6,000 tokens to recognize the support of the early dreamers. Next, if you get in your dreamer NFT mint pass by 4 p.m. tomorrow, that's 24 hours from now, if you get it within that window, you are going to get your 870 tokens plus 3,130 tokens. So you're gonna get a total of 4,000 tokens. So that's, you have 24 hours. Within that 24 hours, you get your Dreamer NFT pass for $25 and you're gonna get 4,000 tokens. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what are these tokens worth? Well, they're going to be worth whatever we make them worth. You've seen the trajectory of how cryptocurrencies work. You start off with, a low cost or no cost, then you build it up into something and where can that value go? I don't know. You can do the math and figure it out, all right? Now, for the next three days after that, every 24 hours, the number of tokens you're eligible for goes down drastically. So if you meant, you know, day after tomorrow, you're only gonna get 2,000 tokens in aggregate. The day after that, 1,000. And after that, you're gonna get your 870 tokens. That's not going away. Everyone gets that, but you're not gonna get any bonus. So the question I have for you is, do you within the next 24 hours have three minutes and $25 to go to mint, dot niftydreams.com click a button and get yourself in the running for 4000 tokens for an airdrop very simple question i think the answer should be yes for most of you so this is the uh, bonus airdrop announcement here it's very clear it's showing gratitude to everybody who has supported us with a massive 6 thousand token airdrop each. I cannot thank you enough because you stepped up right away to support the DAO. And I, I, I really, really want us uh, to show you that very tangibly. Remember, the DAO is focused on creating generational wealth. We want to make every artist wealthy. And the token aligns incentives for everybody in the ecosystem. So this token is going to be very valuable. You need to think about the future, look at our plan and see what this token is going to be worth and make that decision uh, today. So uh, in closing, I'd like to once again, thank everybody who has stepped up and supported the DAO. I want to especially thank the people who did it right away. So we have a great bonus for them. And you know, we want you to be happy. We want you to be, to, to see that this DAO is all about you. So you have 24 hours to go and mint and pick up uh, a Nifty Dreams mint pass and you will be dropped, airdropped 4,000 tokens. We are currently working on the contract for that. There's a team working on that. 
as soon as we get it done, which my guess is probably within the next seven to 10 days, uh, we will have this token ready and we will airdrop it and you will start having these tokens uh, to benefit from. Um, this is a big vision we have. This is a big goal we have. Getting back to my slide one, this is important here, guys. If we cannot get to our 10,000 dreamers in the next few weeks, we cannot get to our benefactors and get the capital. By the way, of that $5.5 million, $1.25 million is straight up for your projects. And guess what? You cannot apply for a project unless you have a Dreamer NFT. So if you want to have a piece of that $1.25 million, you need to be holding a Dreamer NFT. Otherwise, it's not happening. So we expect that that $1.25 million is going to be broken up into lots of small projects of five, 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars. All it needs is someone with a Dreamer NFT and someone else, another artist, to submit a plan and say, hey, here's my project idea. It's what $20,000. And the DAO will fund you. Because remember what I said, we are going to experiment with lots and lots of projects until we find the right thing. You might have the key. You might have the solution to what project is going to monetize NFT at scale. And we want to find out. And so this is why we are very, very excited about having all you artists on board. But 10,000, that's the goal. Got to get it done within the next two or three weeks or, or else we cannot move forward on schedule with this plan. I'm, I'm counting on your support. I'm looking for your support. Please spread the word. Next 24 hours, you get a massive token airdrop boost, 4,000 tokens if you sign up within the next 24 hours. Let's do this. Dream on and dream big. Now, let's see if there's any questions here. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, here's a question here. This is a great question. Are the, these tokens liquid right away? So what this question means is, if you get these tokens, can you go flip them right away? And the answer is, if you have earned the tokens by working in the DAO, you can go do that. You can flip them right away for whatever you want. These are granted tokens, so they are locked for a period of one year. You need to look at this as a long-term strategy. This is not for people who want overnight to flip these tokens, etc. This is for people who believe in a better future for artists and think of the long-term approach. So these tokens, the airdropped, will be locked for one year because if we uh, don't lock them, guess what will happen? You will go to a liquidity provider, you will try and sell them, but there is no liquidity. And so it would not work the DAO is going to gradually provide liquidity. We'll start off with half a million dollars and we will ramp that up along the way so that as the DAO succeeds, first of all, these tokens become more valuable and then we gradually unlock them so we don't create a situation where everyone tries to sell their tokens and it goes down to zero. We do not want that. So that's the answer to that question. I appreciate so much uh, this support. I, I thank you. Uh, you know, we are in this together. We just got to kick ass and make this, this happen. Uh, Medusa uh, Maurice says, Hi, Nick. The retail opportunities and pro artist projects sounds extremely cool, but can you talk a little bit about the artist grant programs also? Absolutely, Medusa. This is a really good question, and I'm going to go into a little more detail about the artist grant program. So as I mentioned, we have $1.25 million uh, in grant funds that we will make available. Uh, so the way that will work is that the Projects Guild will create a pr proposal plan for how to apply for it. So we're going to have two windows of time. The first window of time is where all the Dreamer NFT holders submit their project plans. Uh, a project plan requires a minimum of two people, a Dreamer NFT holder artist, and then any other artist. They don't, you know, I, we would prefer that they be a member of the DAO, which really just means create a Discord account. So two or more, you need to submit the, the plan and we're going to make it so it is not onerous. You know, we'll ask for your basic things. What is your project about? Describe it. What is the schedule for it? Who will it benefit? How much money do you need? And when? Like create some milestones. 
So real basic stuff. We are not expecting artists to miraculously, you know, write 50 page business plans. This will be a two page or three page kind of form. You complete it and you submit it. Now, during the application uh, receiving time window, which will be approximately two weeks, possibly three, depending on the project guild, whatever they decide, all these applications come in. The project guild will immediately uh, review them and reject those that are obvious scams and things like that. Uh, we will have those. You know, anytime you have grant money available, you get people who will respond. So we are going to filter that out and keep the ones that are genuinely artist driven, genuine projects. Then now the project team is doing nothing uh, to uh, sort of qualitatively uh, rank those projects or anything like that. All it's doing is, is looking for completeness. Did you provide all the information that you have? Then comes the second phase and that's the voting phase. In the voting phase, all those applications will be available on uh, the Nifty Dreams website. And anyone who holds a Dreamer NFT can then start and go, go vote on those. What we will do is give each Dreamer NFT a limited number of votes to distribute among all the projects. So uh, let's say that you have five votes that you then distribute among all the projects. So that is the criteria that we will use. It's an objective way for us to decide who to fund and who not to fund. So this is where the, the project will be decided. And once those projects are decided, then within the, the project plan will be a milestone-based uh, approach where you don't get all your money up front. What you get is based upon milestones. So there's an initial payment, and then you achieve a milestone, you get the next payment, you achieve a milestone, you get the next payment, and so on and so forth. So there'll be a project team that reviews these. So that's basically the gist of it. I don't, uh, I cannot comment on the complete details because this is to be written by the project skill, but I am kind of summarizing what the plan will be like. So hopefully that uh, answered your question. Let's take uh, the next question from Mark. From where those bonus tokens will be allocated? Are they coming out from the 500 million reserved? That's a great question. So let me back up and explain how the token strategy is. So there are 500 million tokens that are currently being uh, allocated for season zero, for this initial launch. And then there are 500 million that are in reserve. This, these tokens that are for the bonus are coming from the season zero operational fund. There's about 60 million tokens there. Those were intended to be used for marketing, for promotions, for partnerships, et cetera. So we are doing exactly that. We are using it in the promotion uh, right now uh, for season zero to make this happen. So we are not going to touch the 500 million reserve. That is for the DAO's future. That is how the DAO will be able to fund itself for the future. What we are doing is just dipping into the marketing and operations pool that is already there for season zero and using this to effectively just incentivize artists uh, to, to get on board with the DAO so we can move forward. All right. Uh, next question is, if we own more Dreamer NFT tokens, we'll automatically multiply our tokens. Uh, yes, that is true. Uh, if you have, for example, five Dreamer NFT tokens, then you get five, five multiplied by that number, 4,000. Now, some of you may have purchased multi-year tokens. That does not count. Only the first year counts for the multiplier for the tokens. So each NFT, regardless of its duration, is considered... Uh, uh, will have one multiple, the, the 4,000 tokens, assuming uh, you're buying in the next 24 hours. But if you already have it, uh, let's say you purchased four NFTs and maybe they were for three years each, you get four multiplied by six, 24,000 uh, tokens. Uh, all right. So uh, Satish Acharya, our friend and advisor, asks, lots of artists' friends have one question. How Nifty Dreams is going to bring revenue to them? Will the project support every artist or only those whose artworks are selected for merchandise monetization? This is a wonderful question. Our goal is to support every artist. So what, because we are creating multiple pathways for uh, monetization, 
we believe that we will be able to support every artist. So let's break that down, all right? First and foremost, anyone who is in a DAO contributor role that is paid is going to make money. So instead of working on some other job, some other company that has nothing to do with art, you could be contributing for the DAO and earning money. Uh, that's one thing. Second, there will be a large number of bounties available all the time. Every one of the guilds here will have tasks, ad hoc tasks that you can pick up and say, hey, they need a, uh, this uh, copy written or they need a, a, a logo design or they need a web page built or whatever. You pick up those tasks and you get paid for those. So there's monetization opportunities there. Second, uh, sorry, third. Uh, I said earlier that marketplaces are sort of you know, not the way to go. Why? Because they are plateaued. They are saturated, right? But that doesn't mean that you cannot still pursue that. We know and fully encourage artists for pursuing them. But our goal is to free you from having to do the marketing, etc. So we will have marketing, social media, and, and promotional teams available who will have regular office hours. They will be designed for different time zones. You can stop it into those office hours anytime and ask questions about your specific situation. How can I promote my art on Marketplace X? What are some ideas? What can I do? Can you help me position this art, et cetera? We can do that. We can also have uh, what are called sort of uh, boot camps, if you will, to give artists a crash course on how they can effectively uh, do good at marketing their work. Again, marketplaces are a thing. They will be there. We are trying to get artists new ways to make money, but for the ones that want to stay in the marketplace, we will support you. We are there to help you. And so we will give you guidance. We will give you marketing and social media resources for free. You don't have to pay anything for that. The DAO provides that. Next, we have an events guild whose sole job is to collaborate with galleries, museums, and other organizations to create exhibitions at scale so that we can get new people interested in collecting NFT art. So these, uh, the artworks that are consigned to the DAO will be featured in these exhibitions and will be able to uh, get monetized. So this is, uh, if, you, if you can think about it this way, it's creating virtual marketplaces on the fly, you know, exhibitions, et cetera, and getting those sold to people through foot traffic and also through online uh, metaverse events, uh, you know, virtual exhibitions through augmented reality. Those are the kinds of things we want to do. So yeah, every artist is not necessarily need to have their artists go through the merchandising monetization path. There are other pathways also uh, available. So hopefully I answered that question. Uh, Daniel asks, can it be any Web3 related project? I'm going to take a sip of my chai here and then answer Daniel's question. Okay, so um, the question is related to the project grants. So Daniel, the way we like to think about this is the DAO has a mission of making it possible for every artist in the world to make money. So we are going to favor those projects and give them priority that are targeted to that mission. But we are a DAO, we are not a business. And we realize that sometimes unrelated things could benefit the ecosystem. So if you have an interesting web-related project that would benefit the art ecosystem in general, we're gonna take a look at it. We have no limits or no boundaries on what kind of projects we will take on. We will take in real life projects, we will take programming projects, we will take art installations, whatever is needed to move the, the, the needle forward. Remember, the dreamers, 10,000 dreamers are voting on this. So they decide what is a good project that the DAO should pursue. I fully expect that a number of photographers I know, for example, will want to do travel excursions to remote parts of the world to take photos. That is impossible for them to do right now because it's too expensive. But this is why the DAO exists. We will fund those things that everyone else that has a business or profit motive is going to say, no, we can't do that because there's no profit. For us, the profit is elevating the ecosystem. For us, the profit is 
letting marginalized people be visible, artists especially. So the answer to your question is any project is fair game. It doesn't even have to be Web3. It needs to be a project generally that helps the art ecosystem worldwide. You know, that's kind of the, the thing. I mean, again, you're going to vote on it. So, all right. Um, let's see. Uh, where can we collect these tokens once you airdrop? So these tokens will be in your wallet. So wherever you have that uh, uh, NFT, the the mint pass, so you will find, we, we will drop to, to that particular uh, wa wallet. Now, uh, one of the things here is timing is important. Timing is actually very critical. So if we do this drop uh, in the next few weeks, as we are planning to, wherever you have the mint pass, that's, that's the, the place where you're going to get the airdrop. But we are going to make sure that you cannot sort of, you know, double, double the airdrop or anything like that. It's, it's a one-time thing, and it'll go to that uh, address, to that uh, particular uh, token ID. We'll know that token ID. And now, even if you transfer that token to somewhere else, they cannot uh, get that uh, airdrop. So uh, it will be to the account that has the mint pass. And you can move the mint pass wherever you want. Uh, you can gift it. You can do whatever you want. Now, keep in mind that the mint pass is exactly that. It's a pass. On October 1st, you will burn that mint pass and get your actual Dreamer NFT. Now, that doesn't mean we won't do anything that requires your vote or anything until then. In fact, our goal is to start doing these project grants right away. As soon as we hit like $100,000, we will probably announce our first set of, our first pool of money for project grants. So in the interim, you'll use the mint pass to vote, but starting oct October 1st, you'll be able to burn that mint pass and get your real Dreamer NFT which will be for one year uh, duration. Um, question is, if we won NFT from the New Hope competition, is it eligible to get tokens as well? Yes. Uh, we, if you have a mint pass, however you got it, you're going to get your tokens. That's the simplest and fairest way. All right. I'm going to scroll through these. Would you please share more information about contributors. I already applied, but I don't know what I'm accepted, that I'm accepted or not. All right, this is a good question. So first of all, if you go to niftydreams.com slash go, you're going to find a bunch of links there. And one of them is the contributor application link. You should complete that if you haven't already done so. We are a little behind on getting the guild leads signed up. Our goal is to do it without fail in the next two or three days. The moment the guild leads are are up and running, uh, they are going to look through the contributor applicants and start bringing them on board. Having the, the Mint Pass is helpful to us because now we can also have look at the contributors and say, okay, do you have a Mint, Mint Pass, yes or no? And if it's something someone highly desirable, then the guild lead will have a certain leeway on whether they should be offered the role or not. But we might also... Uh, offer them a complimentary Dreamer NFT. But ideally, we want people who are willing to volunteer and contribute. So the leads will pick from that list and contact you shortly. So uh, my apologies that that's a little behind a uh, schedule, but we've had to orchestrate a ton of things with very few resources and being we are doing the best we can. But I fully expect that within uh, this week, once the guild's leads are up, they'll start planning their guild, they'll start planning their team, they look through and start picking the contributors. All right, so uh, Juan has a project. Uh, what's gonna happen with the Culture Club DAO project on Discord? All right, so we have essentially folded the Board Ape Culture Club as a project off the Nifty Dreams DAO that's gonna be funded. And so we'll pull that uh, in there and work on it uh, that way. So it is, it is going to be a fully funded project for season zero. And so we'll pursue it that way. Uh, all right, uh, let's see, can it, um, I think I've answered a lot of these questions. Okay, as an artist, uh, Shoestring Travel asks, as an artist, if I don't want to pursue any project, how will the DAO help me to sell my arts without getting to projects slash contributor? This is a great question. We don't expect everyone to be applying for a project. We don't expect everyone to be a contributor. If you want the DAO to help you, 
you can simply consign your work to the DAO. Consignment means we have a workflow where you come and you submit your artwork. This, this is not minted artwork or anything. This is just your raw artwork. You submit it and you provide the criteria that is acceptable for you, that you can say that my range of monetization for this artwork is you know, minimum X, a maximum Y, et cetera. When the DAO accepts your work, we will review it and we will return back to you and say that based upon our experts, this is what how we value your work. At that point, you can decide if you want to accept that valuation or you reject that valuation. If you accept that valuation, the, the artwork you have created goes into a pool and is now available for exhibitions, for retail licensing deals, for everything that the DAO is, the DAO is going to do everything possible to now make money for that art, using that art. So you can go back to continuing to uh, make art. One very important detail here. If you have that artwork listed on a marketplace, you do not need to take it down if you have consigned it to a DAO. You are free to continue to market it however you want. Our goal, remember, our goal is to support artists. Every decision we make is going to be in the support of artists. So in fairness, you know, once you've consigned your work, you can still keep selling it on the marketplace. But the moment we find an opportunity where we can use your artwork in a retail scenario or a gallery, we are going to ask you to take it down from all other marketplaces because you can't have it being sold in two places at the same time. So if you are unwilling to do that, then we will not include your art in whatever project it was chosen for, and you can continue doing that. But if you take it down, then your art can now be monetized with whatever project you have. So this is a very fair, it's also a very simple thing to understand. You come to the DAO with your artwork, give it to the DAO and say, here's, it, here's my artwork. Make money for me. Go back to your studio and make art. This is it. This is as simple as I can explain it. You know, that's the model we want to pursue. All right. Let's see more questions. What about photographs? Nifty Dreams will help to sell art and photographs both. Please reply. Our definition of art is any kind of art. This includes photos, paintings, uh, music, songs, sculptures, movies, poetry, uh, articles, books, every kind of thing that you would consider an of art, we consider it an art. So it's not just about the uh, paintings or about photographs. It's every kind of art. Uh, that is what we are planning on doing. Uh, all right, let's see here. Puri here, who is our 13-year-old artist, says, I bought two dreams, one for me and one for my younger sister, Rani. Thank you, Puri. Really, really, really appreciate your support because you're the next generation of artists. And to know that you're supporting us is such a huge uh, vote. It fills my heart with joy and motivates me to work harder because, as I said, this is all about making the future robust and strong for artists. And it's for people like you. I want to make sure that you grow up into a world where art and artists are greatly respected and have many opportunities to thrive and to succeed. And it's great that, uh, that you are supporting us. I really appreciate that. When would the guilds reach out for future uh, endeavors? So as I said, the guilds are, uh, are already kind of organized. It's just that the leads have also been selected just need to get through some paperwork, which I'm committed to getting done as quickly as uh, as possible. And so one way or the other, this week, there's going to be movement on all the guilds and on the, all the contributors. So if you've been waiting patiently, thank you. Thank you so much. There's going to be movement this week on, on both those fronts. So I really appreciate that. Um, pop, pop, pop. How is 10K count important? What happens to early adopters if we don't reach 10K? This is a good question. So 10K is our goal of, of artists. Uh, we do not plan on closing the drop until we reach that. If we don't reach that, then first of all, that means that 
we haven't been able to convince a very small number. You know, 10K is not a very large number given the number of artists that are, there are in the world. So if we start growing the numbers to five, seven, like we already got almost 6,000 signed up, right? So 10K is an achievable goal. Um, what I would say is that the threshold is probably 7,000. Once we get beyond 7,000, it's we are, this is moving forward. It is moving forward regardless, uh, but we would prefer to be moving forward with at least 7,000. That's our minimum kind of goal at this point, but ideally want to get to 10,000. And uh, uh, remember, we have the, uh, the benefactor drop coming up on September 22nd, and that'll go for about a month or so. So we will keep this open. Uh, we will be able to sell this. And I think the proof will be in the activities that the DAO does between now and you know two to three weeks from now. I feel like if we are going to uh, create some value, create some big announcements, et cetera, then those 10,000 will be gone in no time. It's $25, folks. It is $25. You pay more in gas for these PFP projects. You've paid $150 in gas sometimes. We're talking about $25 here. It is not a large sum of money. It is a large sum of money for certain countries. I will give you that. But for a large number of people, this is not a very large amount of money. It's $2 per month. Uh, all right. Can you talk a little bit about the Dreamer role on Discord and what happens when you get a Dreamer role on Discord? Does it open a new chat or private voice or something? All right. So the different tiers of NFT holders, so there's dreamers, there's pioneers, there's visionary, uh, there's uh, nexus, and there's one more, which I always uh, forget, but they will all have roles in Discord and they will all have their private uh, channels where you can meet, discuss, uh, et cetera. Uh, things like votes, et cetera, will happen in communications made through those private uh, channels. So Discord will start becoming the most important place. Uh, Discord is where the guild leads will sort of have their meetings and things like that. We have channels set up for that. Uh, so a lot of this is very fluid because it, we don't want to prescribe exactly how each lead does things. We want to have some general guidelines and then have the guild leads uh, manage their guild the way they, uh, they want to. Can an artist apply for more than one project? I don't know the answer to that, Arijit. That is uh, the project guild will make the rules around that. Uh, I think uh, the application process is probably permissible to multiple ones, but I feel like your peers that are voting might not choose two of your projects to be funded in fairness. So remember, you know, the dreamers are voting on this. So uh, there's the application process and then there's the actual selection through voting. So my guess is that the applications might be fine so that you can submit multiple project ideas. Uh, but I think in terms of the voting and the funding, it might be limited to one project at a time. But there's always another season where you can use that same project and get it voted on. Uh, all right. So I have applied for contributor. I have a simple question. How will being a contributor help in selling his or her art or is it just going to help us by getting our airdrop token? It's neither. The role of a contributor is to help the DAO move forward. So there's three kinds of contributors. There's contributors who are volunteers. They just want to be aligned with this mission and help this DAO succeed. You're working uh, for, for uh, just the, the ability to collaborate with your peers and learn new things and learn exciting things and get recognized for that. Two is you're working in a role that has a stipend associated with it. Certain DAO roles, contributor roles, will have a stipend. Uh, they, that It might be based upon the hours you work, or it might be a flat amount based upon the type of work you do. You need to be holding a Dreamer NFT for that kind of job. You cannot get paid unless you are a Dreamer. The third one is bounty or task-based contributors, where there is a list of tasks and there is a a token bounty associated with each one. You pick up the one you want, you do it, and you get paid. Uh, so that's that's the third kind. All right. Uh, can the DAO support selling my book and personal development programs as utility? Now, that's super specific. Uh, 
I don't know that you know we would be able to uh, create a program to do that. But what we can do is through the marketing resources, through the office hours, have people give you guidance on what you can do in order to sell your book and things like that. L look, this is an important underlying question here. We are trying to do things at scale. You know, we want to do things that impact hundreds, thousands of artists at once. So if we if we use our time and resources solving one problem at a time, it's not very effective or very efficient. So for us, it's better to make resources available to artists so you can help yourself, uh, which is a burden, a, a financial burden that you don't have to bear. Like if you were to go to a marketer and say, hey, help me with, with you know, selling my book, they would charge you money. You, won't, you will get the advice you need. You will get the guidance you need, but you don't have to pay for it. But yeah, our, our, the, the programs that the, the DAO uh, funds are designed to make many artists uh, have an income versus having one artist have an income. I've personally onboarded two people and that have their Dreamer NFT. I keep talking about it, whoever I meet. Third one's on the way. Fill my gut. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. This is exactly what we're looking for. This is the community spirit. You know, we start talking about this. We get other people fired up about this. This 10,000 number is going to be, be crushed in no time at all. We can get there very, very quickly, folks. I'm very confident of that. Uh, failure is not an option. We are going to succeed at this. We are going to move forward. We are going to be, uh, be the largest DAO in the world. We are already headed in that direction. Uh, so... Here we go, share meta again. I created a group on Facebook with 170 people explaining uh, everything about the DAO. Two of them are dreamers. That's fantastic. This is great. You know, it. This is how the needle moves forward, one or two at a time. Do not, do not think that. Oh, I only know two people. I can only get three people. This is important. It's the, you know, the numbers. They add up very, very fast. So please, if you know only two people. Talk to them about becoming a dreamer. It does make a difference. Every little bit makes a difference. Dexter's Dev says he's minting four dreamer NFTs for his fashion and artist friends. Go, go, go. That's awesome. Love it. Thank you for your support. All right. Sophia asks, what happens when you bought one NFT for one year and one year passes and you want to be a part of Nifty Dreams again? Is it going to be another chance to buy again NFT for more years? This is a wonderful question, Sophia. Thank you for asking me. It gives me a chance to explain what the renewal process will be like. I also want to explain the delegation process. So two things I want to answer for with Sophia. The first thing is, uh, at about 11 months in, the DAO will announce a renewal program where everyone who has an NFT that is set to expire has a chance to go and hit renew and extend for another year or two years or whatever you want. That period will last approximately to 20 to 25 days. And then your NFT will be available for anyone else to essentially buy a new one and replace yours. So yours will expire and there will be another. The number of NFTs is going to be constant. It's only going to be 10,000. So a new person cannot come in until an old one, uh, a new NFT cannot come in until an old one expires. So if you're holding on to yours and you let it lapse, if you do not renew it, then it expires. And that NFT is great. It sits in your wallet, but it cannot be used for voting. It cannot be used for logging in into the Discord, et cetera. So you must, but you will have ample time to, to renew it. And as long as you renew it, you're fine. You, your benefits will, will continue to accrue. Now, having said all that, this is the plan now. The DAO can change that. All you dreamers can vote and say that, hey, we don't want an annual thing. We want all the dreamer NFTs to be unlimited forever. You can vote on that. This is the beauty of the DAO. Someone can propose and say that I propose that all DAO NFTs are, are, are forever. You know, Now that's going to have a financial impact. That's going to take us away from the reason there's durations. So let's look at why there are durations, right? There are durations because on many of the DAOs, you have people who by having a certain number of tokens take on a role and there's no way to get them out if they are a bad actor, if they are causing problems for the DAO. The duration gives us a mechanism to do that, uh, but it is possible that the DAO would vote to say that, no, we want to take that away. Uh, so that's one thing. The second thing 
is that your NFT, uh, once you, you get the, the Dreamer NFT on October 1st, has a feature called delegation. What that means is, let's say that there is a vote or for a proposal about marketing, but you're not a marketer. You don't know how to market. You can identify your best marketing friend or even the marketing lead you know, in the guild and say, I delegate my vote to you because you're smarter about marketing than I am. So this delegation is a really important feature. For every vote, you can decide if you want to make the decision on the vote or you want to have someone who knows about that topic be your spokesperson, be your delegate. This works in government, right? Like we have in the US, we have senators and congresspeople. We elect them. And this is true around the world. You have you elect people to vote on your behalf. So this works the same way in, in the DAO also. So, all right. Uh, what can we send to artist friends in order to convince them fact, a particular social media post? All right, Leah, this is a, a good question. Uh, if you go to the Nifty Dreams uh, pinned, pinned post, hopefully it, uh, it is what I'm thinking of, there is a, a business plan there for artists. Uh, if you don't find it there, go to niftydreams.com slash go, and there is a link there uh, that has the detailed business plan. As I mentioned at the onset of my presentation today, we know that we need to create simplified versions of it, and we are working on that. So uh, expect that in the next couple of days. But for right now, we have a fairly detailed business plan that they can look at and poke holes in, et cetera, but understand what's going to happen with the DAO. If you don't find uh, things, please DM me. Uh, I'm at Tech Bubble on uh, uh, Twitter, or you can also DM the Nifty Dreams uh, uh, Twitter account, and they will make sure that you can get a link uh, to that. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm going to run a space about Nifty Dreams in Farsi on Friday. Would you like to join? I'd like to for you to coordinate with Maryam, the regional lead for Iran. We've already done one in Farsi. It, it was very good. Love your support. We're happy to coordinate this and do this with you. Uh, let's see here. Is it beneficial to hold more than one pass, or is it better to onboard others who can't afford to mint? Uh, Kafil, this is a, a great question. Uh, I don't know that, that there's one answer for this. If you know someone uh, who cannot mint, uh, yeah, I think it's great if you could onboard them. That would be fantastic. Uh, keep in mind that everyone is welcome in the DAO. We are not restricting DAO membership to anybody. We are not restricting DAO benefits to anybody. The Dreamer NFT gives you the ability to vote, it gives you the ability to apply for project grants. It gives you the airdrop tokens. And it gives you the ability to apply and keep paid contributor roles. If the person you are going to uh, uh, hand this to uh, the, 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 your extra pass to can avail of those things, then yeah, give it to them. But if they just need are an artist who want to be a member of the DAO, they are welcome. Um, you know, They don't need to have a dreamer. Uh, pass. The other advantage of having multiple passes is your vote is stronger, right? So if you uh, if you're voting on projects, you get more votes to vote on projects. If there's any other proposal, your voice is heard just a little bit louder than other people. Now keep in mind that we fully expect that some portion of these um, NFTs are going to end up on OpenSea or other marketplaces and be aggregated. So it's quite possible that people will end up with more than five and have a larger vote. But we certainly want to make it a little difficult to do that because the whole point of the NFTs for governance is to not consolidate the vote among, you know, among just one or two people. And I know that many artists are going to hold on to their, their NFT because it's not about it's not like a PFP or whatever that's going to appreciate in value. I don't know. It might. But its intent is to be a governance NFT. So there's really not much incentive to sell it but if you want to you know you're certainly able to do that uh so kupti asks does that mean holding multiple dream nft means having multiple voting power absolutely so what you can do with one you can do the same thing with two with five you know you can do the exact same thing so it's a multiplier effect for sure is the nifty token only for the first time user example if the nifty expired and new one buys that will the person get the same Ah, this is a wonderful question. This airdrop 
is a one-time launch airdrop. It may never happen again. If it does happen again, it's because you, the dreamers, voted for it to happen again. But as I see it right now, this is a one-time deal uh, to for the initial launch uh, dreamers. It's unlikely to happen again. So yeah, not going to repeat it. Um, if you have a Dreamer NFT and then the platform bans us, will the token still exist in our wallet or is it on your own contract, dear? Yeah, so OpenSea, Foundation, Wearable, nobody, nobody can change what happens on the blockchain. They can only change what's happening on their Web2 application with the database. So when OpenSea bans you, what they are really doing is saying you cannot log in into OpenSea. It doesn't change a single thing on the blockchain. Every one of your assets are all still there on the, the blockchain. Now, there's one other thing. If your token is minted and it's using an OpenSea URL for where the asset is located, that might potentially be banned. But uh, off late, at least for the past six months or so, they've been using IPFS links. So hopefully your asset will still be there. But the token itself, will always exist and cannot be taken away. So the contract in, in which the Dreamer NFT is uh, created, you can go explore it, is a custom contract. It has nothing to do with any entity. It is a standalone contract. We wrote it, we published it, and it is it is there and it cannot be uh, cannot be taken down. All right. Uh, is the Nifty Dreamer NFT restricted to five per wallet or can she, he, she collect more? Yes, we want it to be fair. And so it is restricted to five per wallet. Now, of course, that is a number for the minting. Uh, there is no restriction on how many you can actually be holding. So if you go and buy five more and transfer them to your wallet, that's something you can do. We 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 thought about it and we're like, it's this is decentralized. Like if people want to do that, they should be able to do that within, um, and, and we are neither going to make it easy or difficult for you to do that. Uh, how do we know when to come together for decision-making? Please don't say Discord. I already have your notification bell switched on. All right, uh, Shiro, that's a really good question. So uh, most DAOs are using um, uh, platforms like Snapshot for decision-making. We are not sold on that yet because we know that we want to, take advantage of Web2. There's a lot of Web2 has to offer in terms of ease of use, user experience, et cetera. So we haven't decided that yet. We have to balance the fact that uh, most of the voters, most of the members remain pseudonymous or even anonymous, right? We don't have a really good way to communicate with them. But if Dreamers voluntarily provide us with uh, their Twitter handles or their email handles, then it becomes easy for us to communicate via those channels. So I think what we're going to do is have a profile page for each Dreamer and have them select their preferred communication methods for notifications. And then we'll just use that. So whenever a notification goes out, it'll get blasted out among to all uh, Dreamers on all the channels they have preferred. And so you will get a word of it. So uh, yeah, that's how we will do the notification. And then in terms of the actual voting, it will most likely be snapshot. But if there are some newer systems that are there that are better, we might explore those as well. Uh, all right. So I think we are out of questions there. This was, uh, this was a really good set of questions. I enjoyed answering them. And I enjoyed presenting uh, this bonus strategy to, to everybody. Uh, so now we have a mission, right? We've got to get to 10,000 as quickly as possible. Dreamers? You're my helpers in this. I look forward to your support. Let's get this done. We're going to kick ass and we're going to change the world. We are going to make it better. We're going to make it more awesome for artists. So uh, dream on, dream big. I'm signing off until next Monday. See you soon. Bye-bye.